Hi guys! Hello! So today we are doing a video worth watching. And I say worth watching because I am actually embarrassed. I am kind of shy and embarrassed to do this. And you guys loved the other video where I wore my wig out in public. So I'm doing that again. Except I'm going to school. I go to university. I am going to take this wig. And the reason I'm embarrassed is because I know people there and like I've never shown up to university with a wig, right? So I'm meeting my sister there and whatnot and yeah, I'm a little embarrassed. I mean, I'm the type of a girl that got embarrassed to shout bingo when we played bingo in elementary, so. But anyways guys, today I am doing this fun this fun thing where I go out to my university and wear my wig. So another, this is part two to wearing a wig out in public. And I, this wig right here is from the company called Sapphire Wigs. And they are an Amazon company that sells these gorgeous wigs. They have so many beautiful wigs. And I love this one right here. It's very natural. You guys know I'm a sucker for blonde wigs. I used to have blonde hair. In high school it was cut short because I had no money. And my parents didn't want to pay for it anymore. So... What we can do now is wigs. Wigs have saved my life whenever I want to go blonde, whenever I want like this crimson or I don't, I don't know what color. But anyways, this beautiful wig right here is, I have all the details right here. So we're going to go over the details before I start vlogging and taking you guys to my school and wearing this out. So I thought that the hairline was natural enough to wear out to the point where I'm like, okay, this girl, she looks crazy. And you guys are probably like, wearing a wig to school is not that creative or wearing a wig to school is not a big deal. There's so many girls who wear wigs to school. I get it. It's not about the fact that I'm wearing a wig to school that's making it creative. It's the fact that it's me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's a fact that I don't ever do this, so it's something new to my channel, and you guys are always like, but do you, get, do you wear these wigs out in public? And I'm like, well, this time I'm going to show you that I am. So I'm actually going to class wearing this wig out and taking it to school with me. So that's what's different for me on my channel. It's not different from the entire world. But anyways, I have all the details on my iPad right here. So this is the Sapphire Wigs Ivory Brown Color Canacallon Futura hair, no tangle, natural hairline, six times 13 inches. Whoa, big, deep, big lace freedom part, daily makeup, woman, ivory brown hair, synthetic lace front wig. That's a really long title, kind of like similar to titles in other places. This wig is only 48 bucks, so a lot of the times wigs that I show you that have these beautiful, natural, synthetic uh, lace front hairlines, they're so expensive. They go up to $80 and plus, but this one right here is 40 bucks for this gorgeous lace front and it's also really long, so I'm gonna show you that, zoom into the hairline, and then you can come to school with me. It looks like it comes with four clips, which is crazy. Like this wig is not, there's hair in my face. <sighs> This wig is not going to be flying off of me while I'm at school because everything is super secure, especially with the adjustable strap at the bottom. Now, Sapphire Wigs does have a lot of amazing wigs in stock, so if you aren't into this color, they have so many, but this one right here is bomb, and I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah, it's just a nice straight wig. It's very tangle-free. It I, the, what, what, the only thing I'm concerned about is the synthetic shine. Like, it is pretty shiny. But other than that, like, I did uh, spray a little bit of dry shampoo in it, but still, like, it's still shiny, so hopefully people just think, like, dang, that girl's got shiny hair, but I doubt it. <laughs> so, yeah, let me show you guys the length, and I'll zoom into the hairline, and yeah, I'm so excited to go to school with you guys. Okay, so this is the length. It's really long. It goes past my hips. Yeah, I, to I don't really like wigs that are too long, but this one looks okay. It looks about 24 inches long. I'm tiptoeing, by the way, and this is how it looks in the back. So it's nice, pretty, and straight. I think it has like a V cut, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom into the hairline and so you guys can see the top of the wig. So this is how the top looks like. The hairline is pretty natural. I'm going out like this without it glued, so I really hope that it's good, but this is how it looks. This is the top part of the wig. I don't want to part it too much because I am going out, but I am going to show you 
how it looks. Oh, it has such a gorgeous natural part. So you can part it either way and each way you still won't be able to see the stitching and you can't see the wig cap underneath so it's not super thin which is really good but yeah this is how it looks so if I wanted to part it to the side like this I could and look at how natural it it parts to the side it looks gorgeous I absolutely love that look at it and it also combs out really nicely like I know that you guys saw me combing it right now and it just was really it was doing really well and it's not tingling at all but look at how beautiful this is I'm actually kind of excited to show it off instead of having it in my drawer but anyways yeah so let's go so I am outside right now and I was taking pictures for Instagram for sapphire wigs but look at this I love getting up early because then you can take like really good pictures and the lighting comes out really good but the wig looks amazing this is like the perfect lighting like people look that up on YouTube just get up early or wait till sunset and you will get amazing pictures but yeah I was just getting taking pictures and now I am going to be on my way to school so okay so now I am on my way to school and I have to take a shuttle so and I think the guy knows who I am he's gonna be like what playing the jams I just parked and I'm ready to get on my shuttle to my school hair still intact <sighs> let's see how today goes I'm not entirely sure but my hair looks pretty real besides like the slight synthetic shine I'm happy I'm excited not I'm not as embarrassed as I thought I was gonna be so we'll see how it goes but yeah I'm about to get off and walk over there so <laughs> we'll see I'm mostly just excited to see what my sisters think but yeah I have all this stuff right now I actually like it with a beanie like I feel like blonde and pink look so good together but my bus is almost here so I'm gonna get on it and I have a little pause before my first class and whatnot but I only have one class a day but I have to go to like the gym and whatnot but yeah mostly just excited to see their reactions on the shuttle right now about to go to school Yeah, I see my sisters right over there, so I'm walking up to them right now. Hey guys! Yeah, right away! <laughs> wow, you noticed it right away? Oh, nothing? <laughs> you guys noticed it right away yeah, or no? No, it looks good though. Thanks. Thanks. I only know because you have red hair. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, bye. bye. I saw them and my sister's right here, but she doesn't want to be in it. I understand, but we, I'm walking into this building right now, but the, oh, what's that sound? The shuttle ride was fun. I just felt like maybe people were judging me because of my way, but I honestly, like, it's all in my head, I know it. I, I was gonna get have people are staring at me because I was saying that's what my sister was saying right now because I felt like people were looking at me weird but I didn't want them to be like why are you filming me so okay the lighting here is horrible I look like an egg <laughs> like I look horrible it's almost like I want to I think I'm gonna put the, the beanie back on to do the story time I look like an old lady that's what I look I look 80 what the hell while I'm here at school I thought that while I'm waiting for class and whatnot, I would tell you guys that story time. I said something awkward happened in in LA. It's not that awkward. So I'm not gonna dedicate a whole video to it, but while I'm here, let me get my beanie. Let's put this beanie back on. Cause I look like an egg. Okay, so I thought I would 
do the little story time. Oh my god, I almost dropped my camera. So I'm at school right now. Obviously, you know that. I'm waiting for my class to start. This building is like chill. People aren't really staring. They're not rude like that. It was mostly out on the main campus spot. But yeah, so I was in LA and I told you guys something weird happened. If you watch that vlog, then you should watch it because at the end, it wasn't at that weird to the point where I should make an entire story time dedicated to it. I know I told someone I should do a story time on it, but it was just like, uh, it's, it wasn't that bizarre. You know what I mean? But anyways, I was at In-N-Out with my boyfriend and it was like the craziest In-N-Out I've ever been to in my entire life. Like, if you guys know OG Nicole, I'm from Texas, so we were in LA for reasons. And we went to In-N-Out because here in Texas, In-N-Out is like a thing. It's popular, but it's not like, like it's not the most popular thing you've ever seen in your life. So when we went there, seriously, they had like a security guard at In-N-Out. I'm not even kidding. They had like a bouncer. I was like, what type of stuff is this? We, could, we were fighting for a spot. We went in there. There was like 120 people trying to get a burger. It's like it's we can't go back now we were in two hour traffic in LA LA traffic is real it's legit hi people uh, sorry people looking this way I guess I'm talking too loud but yeah so the LA traffic is no joke we were literally starving my boyfriend and I we were so hungry we didn't want to get out of that in and out because first of all the bouncer okayed us and we had like oh it wasn't a bouncer it's not like they were checking ids it's not like we were drinking or whatnot it's like some type of security guard he was checking he so he gave us a spot and we sat there uh, not sat there we parked there and it was a struggle the struggle was real to get in there so we're like we didn't get all this work to not eat and we were craving in and out and the other in and out was like 45 minutes away and we could not do it like the LA traffic we couldn't do that so we just decided to stay we stood in the long line it was super long and then we we so we ordered our food and I swear like there was no tables and we could eat outside but it was really cold outside and we didn't feel like sitting in the cold so every time somebody got up like people would sit down really quick and steal a spot so it was crazy so we were like on the hunt for a spot to sit at and then finally like there was a spot that was open but it was at one of those four seaters where like if you were on a double date that would be like the perfect spot or if you were a group of four that would be the perfect spot so it's not like it was separated so it was one of those four seaters so there was still like this these people sitting across from each other and so we're like, is anyone sitting here? Because like, honestly, like there's no, nothing is going to open up, right? So we're like, is anybody sitting here? And so the, the, per, the, there was a boy and a girl and they're like, yes, no one's sitting here. Go ahead, sit here. And like the person who was sitting there before, like darted, they dipped. They were like, bye, sayonara, you know, they were gone. So we were like, let's sit here. Biggest mistake ever. Sat there. And this is where I said this was the awkward encounter. These people were talking about the most weirdest things I've ever heard in my life. And just like the most uncomfortable things while you're eating. And they were literally talking about um, church pastors raping kids or um, having a really personal like re sexual relationship with church pastors. And they were like... They just were talking about it so openly and loud. They were shouting it out to the world. They are like, yeah! I was with my church pastor and he raped a kid. They were like shouting it out. And I was just like, okay, like I'm trying to enjoy my burger right now. Like, I guess I, it's, I know freedom is speech. So of course I wasn't going to say anything. Like, I'm not like that. I mean, we're in a public area. If you want to talk to your friend, go ahead. But it's just like, I don't, I've never been in a place where people are shouting to the rooftops about getting touched by a church pastor and everything and they were like shouting to the rooftops about losing their virginity like there's this girl she's like i gave this guy my virginity and he dumped me two weeks later like she literally said that she shouted it out from the rooftops and we're like you know it was just like really awkward because i know she knew people were hearing and there was a couple of people next to us that kept like staring at this girl and like 
looking at her like what the heck like why are you saying that so loudly like I'm I'm not saying I was uncomfortable because of what she was saying like okay you lost your virginity big whoop like people lose their virginity all the times so guys like it's just it's it's just what happens but the fact that she was yelling it and I was just like trying to enjoy my food while she was talking about like rapists and just all this weird stuff like politics and like offensive political talk and whatnot and it was I'm just saying it was like the worst experience ever like I know that you guys are probably like it's not that bad but if you were there in that situation trying to enjoy your burger and these random people that were sitting next to you were shouting off the rooftops things you didn't want to hear but I mean of course I wasn't going to say anything because it's freedom of speech and I'm not that type of person to just be like shut up you know like why would I do that that's rude and I guess it was rude how loudly they were talking I wasn't the only person me and my boyfriend were not the only person there who thought that was weird like there were other people that were looking at them weird but yeah so they were just having really uncomfortable conversations right next to us and stuff I ate my burger so fast and dipped like and me and my and Brian and I like we're just literally talking about it the whole time like he was uncomfortable I was uncomfortable but yeah, that was my story time. But anyways, I'm going to check back with you guys while, I was, while I'm in class or else this video is going to be 30 minutes long. And I don't know if you want 30 minutes of me. So. so I'm in the restroom right now. Literally, there was someone in here staring at me. But I couldn't have pulled my camera out. But I just went to the restroom really quick. But now I am going to class. So I'll show you a little bit of my class and then we'll call it a day. This is pretty much where the vlog ends, but it wasn't that bad wearing a wig. Honestly, nobody knew. I was right, so. Guys, wear wigs to school. It saves you time on doing your hair. Okay, so class is over. I don't think anyone noticed. It was a success. Now, I'm gonna, before I go on the shuttles, I'm gonna tear this off in the restroom because it is so, Itchy. Oh my! I smashed my wig off. <laughs> that was clearly a joke. Cause my sister took it off for me. <laughs> that was funny, right? Okay, I'm 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 so done like wearing this wig. So I'm gonna take this off. Alright you guys, so that is it for this wig review and wearing it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and maybe I'll do another, like part three. And also, I will leave everything down below in the description box in case you are interested in this wig. I had so much fun with you guys today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.